All right. So now we're going to talk about the results. So remember, we call our results found workout. It's going to be found workout. So this is the example that we're going to use. Okay. We're going to type in results. Right? We're going to call response. Response found workout is going to go under found workout. Response dot description is going to fall into description. Response dot just make sure the variable is coming. Dot standard. going to come back into standard and response dot rounds underscore reps it's going to come back to rounds reps okay we're going to save these and we're going to test this live because that's what I love doing testing software live <laughs> All right, so we're going to run a test. We, let's take a look at one of our workouts. Let's ask for any. We could not find the workout. And so when we go back and test, this is what we're going to do. We're going to test in debug mode, waiting for the response, workout. So process API one if true and existing flow. So it says we could not find the workout. So that means that it went to we could not find the workout. So let's just do something crazy because I usually always get these wrong. I'm going to make this here. I'm going to make this here. And I'm going to make this here. Oh. I'm going to make this here. How come this is not working for me? I look. Oh, I did. Actually, did. Make that here. And make this here. So let's see. Now the workout is. The workout is. We cannot find the workout. I'm going to save that. Let's go test it. So I have something slightly odd here. The name of the workout is unknown. Reset. Start from the beginning. Okay. The name of the workout is unknown. So it's coming down and bringing me to unknown. Found workout is coming back as unknown. find the workout. So we returned. So now the way I like to go through this now, maybe because I haven't saved it appropriately, I like to go look at Integramat and see if I had any history. Yeah. It's telling me in Integramat that I ask for the workout and it looked for a benchmark named workout and it found the workout unknown. So for some reason I have pushed out a value called workout. And that is the problem. You see? So
Okay, so that means that this is sending a workout a value called workout, and I need to resolve this. The body is that's a problem. I hard coded the workout. You see. I had to use my brackets, find the variable workout. Okay? Now that's going to tell me, so when I go back to my test, I'm going to go past type Angie. The name of the workout is Angie. Um, great. So now we'll really test it. So it really did fire the proper one, Angie. And so the name of the workout is Angie, and it involves description. Just type ahead, description. And it, and you need to perform rounds and reps it is measured in and I'll just put standard it's a time in standard so you save that you go test this let's type Murph The name of the workout is Murph. It involves undefined, and you need to perform undefined. It is measured in time. So I have now provided an undefined variable. So this is not nightmarish, but it's letting me know that in my response, I found description, I found standard, I found Rounds and rounds and wraps. So my only option is to take a look at the history. It happened in entire amount. So it just ran. I sent back here. So it asked for Murph. Right? And it found Murph. It found a row. Therefore it it exists, right? So here, description. Ah, I spelled description wrong. Okay, let's go back in here. Okay. Let's save this and see how we get it to get any better. Save this, test it. And try this again. Was telling me the response is getting back. Found workout to well. Description is still horribly. Spell um, probably not matched up. Mm. 
input is there. It's picked it up. Ah, you know what the problem is? I have avoided doing something that I think might ne might necessarily be a variable coming back. Voice flow may not know that it's coming back in as JSON. It may just read that first string and it may be skipping all the other ones. Yeah, so let's test it. Let's call it. Let's call it this. There it is. My problem was some misspelling, but in reality, it brought back the name of the workout as DT, and it involves 12 deadlifts, all these, and you need to perform undefined. So it is measured. It did not bring back rounds and reps appropriately. No. Rounds and reps is not coming back. Response, rounds, reps. Rounds, reps. So, when I look at rounds and reps, ah, I did not spell rounds, reps correctly. All right, so let's save that. There you go. In order for this to happen, and I apologize for you going through my entire um, debugging process, you need to make sure that everything is spelled right, they match up on both ends, your JSON is proper, and uh, you actually do send back in a webhook response that it has to be application JSON. So voice flow can deal with it appropriately. So that is, in a roundabout way, how you use um, how you use VoiceFlow, structured Google Sheets queries, and Integramat to bring it back. Now, I am actually going to include uh, another one of these, the one we built right here. We'll do this one, we'll call this one Blueprint 2. We'll download that one that you can see what I've pulled off here so you can use it again when you go do this. This is only going to be available in my Facebook group. I want you to guys, I want you to join our Facebook group because I believe it's something that um, can add value to what you're doing um, and it might be useful to you for some other things that we do because we use Integramat a lot, integration a lot. We do a lot more with some other things but this would definitely be helpful especially with what you're doing and the cross-pollination of ideas from voice to just simple messaging that happens across the enterprise and on a B2C basis. Thanks so much. So a complete write-up. I'm also going to include a complete write-up of this inside of our Facebook group. So please jump in, join the Facebook group. Uh, we'd love to have you. Um, voice flow is amazing. We love using it, and we hope to see you soon. Take care. Hi, which workout were you looking for? The workout Angie is measured in time. It involves you completing 100 pull ups, 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, 100 squats. Would you like to try again? Okay, this time, which workout are you looking for?
The workout MRF is measured in time. It involves you completing 1 mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 squats, 1 mile run. Would you like to try again? Alright. Thanks for playing.